What's going on everybody? Jada Black here. I am back with another video. Shout out to everybody that is tuning in. Make sure you subscribe to JDB Media ENT. I've been promoting that channel for basically every video I've been posting in the last couple weeks because I want y'all to be there for when I go live. Because I'm not going to be going live on this channel anymore. So I'm just giving y'all the heads up because I know a lot of y'all who do support me and watch my videos, you're probably going to watch this video. And for the new people, you know, also if you're new, make sure you subscribe to the notification bell. But also subscribe to that channel as well because um, it helps you know when I go live. Because I've been going from this channel, this channel, this channel because I'm working on building up new channels. So make sure y'all go and do that, okay? Just giving y'all an update, okay? Now, this video is going to be about suppose a guy who has the talent to be a star, just has a bad jump shot, Marquise Fultz, okay? He's gotten himself in a little bit of an issue, a bind. Apparently, he was secretly dating a scripper, and off top, that is never a good idea. And she blasts him when he put up a post or he commented on a post blasting him about her losing the child that she was going to have with him the the aka the child support baby and how he was cheating on her with her best friend who's probably just as thotty as she is i mean you can go to her instagram her name is cat mac her instagram is i am cat mac and you will see exactly what i mean i mean there's really every photo is club ready you know strip club ready regular club ready there is no photo on her IG that you can say she legit goes to church in that outfit, okay? Well, she wants to put him on blast because she lost out on her child support baby. And she's lashing out, okay? She's lashing out because she lost out <laughs> on the child support baby. Now, I'm not going to lie. She looks good. She looks like your typical IG model. No light-skinned, you know? Thick, you know, you, you know how y'all like them. Y'all, y'all know majority y'all like them like that. Thick, light skin, got a natural hair flowing, could be biracial. You know, the way that Marquise Fultz likes them, and some of these younger uh, athletes, even older athletes, like them. But I'm gonna say this though about Marquise Fultz. He was injured, I believe, the majority of last season. Came back, I think, mid late last season and had a good game and, and seemingly kind of fell off after that. But his teammates around him still was able to play well enough to get to the playoffs. Now, Ben Simmons is probably one of the better players on that team if he can stay healthy. With him and Joel Embiid. Embiid. So, looking at these guys and what they have, they have a lot of potential to be great. And they don't need distractions. You know, Marquise Fultz has a ton of potential being the number one player. Uh, not number one player, being the top player of last year's draft, potentially. But I kind of just don't see it. I mean, whenever you have to fix your jump shot like Lonzo Ball, it's going to be problematic as an NBA player. But, that, but be that as it may. In this situation, right? This was the post that originally started all this, okay? I'll put a link in the description box to all of her posts that she put up trying, you know, basically exposing him and the friend slash sister uh, slash, you know, I guess his side piece. He says, officially a member of the hashtag, Mar was it Marjorie Empire family? True meaning of hashtag F. 2G. Then she puts up, so let's tell the world how you got me pregnant, tried to blame it on me, was suicidal, stressed me to the point I lost my baby, which everything has proof. Then F with my sister slash best friend right after, who already has a kid and lives with her parents. <laughs> now these are some of the subsequent other messages. Remember, I put you on to money because you used to call me broke. Hashtag, uh, hashtag, at Sierra Mac. Sierra Mac. This is my, damn, this is her sister. Anyway, Sierra Mac. 
calls me her sister, but F the one man I've ever been pregnant by in my life. I had a miscarriage and sis was there for me, but effing my baby daddy on the low, laughing my ass off, who raised you bum bees? Exactly. Who raised you bum bees? You, you got a lot of bummy chicks out there. And honestly, I think you're one of them as well. Because Marquis Fultz, to my knowledge, never... He never really... He never really... No, I wouldn't say promoted, but he never really put that relationship you had with him to the forefront. I think that you were a chick that thought you hit the jackpot when the number one pick in the NBA in the 2007 the 2017 NBA draft decided to date you on the low low okay and, and by the way she actually looks older than him i mean he's 20 but he looks like he's 16 looks like he's about 16 or 17 she looks like she's about 28 and she's dating this young dude okay and i don't believe this is the first time she's been pregnant like that I believe this chick has had abortions. I, I you, you cannot tell me somebody who, if you look at her Instagram, is very thizzotty, okay? Um, you can't, there, there is not one, there's maybe a one or two PG-13 posts. Everything else is ass, chess, look how good my figure looks, <laughs> you know? You know, in a bikini, it's like, you know her, her lifestyle. Ain't nowhere in the world You've only been pregnant once, okay? Let's let's just go ahead and put that to side. I, I don't believe that. I think a lot of these chicks be having miscarriages all the time, abortions, definitely abortions, especially by a guy that ain't got no money. Okay, she lost out on a payday. Trust and believe that was a payday because how come you waited until you started dating this guy to get pregnant? How all of a sudden, when you get with this dude, you get pregnant? You wanted to be pregnant. You could have told him to wear a condom. You could have uh, used contraceptives. I'm pretty sure you've been using them before. This is a theme. But back to Mo Markeith, Mar Markeith, Markel. Dude, you dodged one in this situation. You really did. This chick was looking for a check and you dodged her. Now, you're a young player and I'm pretty sure you're going to learn from this. By her trying to expose you, but basically she exposed herself and her sister, you know, um, who are best friends and sisters. The other chick is probably jealous of her. They probably sleep with each other's dudes all the time. I, I bet you she has slept with her sister's boyfriend before. Her sister may not have found out about it, but maybe her sister did and just didn't say nothing. There's probably been bad blood there for a long time. And Markel, you're 20 years old. That doesn't mean I'm going to let you off the hook because you have an unprotected sex with this desert. Bro, that's a simp move. But you dodge one, okay? And the fact that this chick <laughs> went into the comment section to, ex to expose not only her sister and you, but she also exposed herself, man. It it's as if... This dude cut off all communication with this chick, man. Because he realized he dodged one. And she wants to blame him for why she had um, miscarried. No, I blame your lifestyle. Look at your IG. You're in these tight outfits. You're always out partying. You were pregnant. You should have been off your feet. Not in some, you know, some uh, boots or heels walking around. We don't know what happened to that child. But you want to blame it on the fact that you missed her. And by the way, let me tell you, let me put you females on some game, okay? If a dude don't claim you, nine times out of ten, he sees himself as single. When you are a public figure, okay? And you're in a relationship. It's going to be public by default. You can't really hide a relationship. Especially if the girl you're dating is very public as well. So she was keeping a relationship on the low. But I'm pretty sure if he would have said, let's make it public, you would have been all for it. You probably filming yourself in his house and hotel rooms when he's, you know, 
you know, feel not filming. When he's uh, going from city to city, if you was with him, he flew you out. You see, I have a lot of regular chicks. No matter if they're attractive or not, regular chicks will say, you shouldn't choose these women. Especially women like this. But women like this are a dime a dozen. There are chicks that work at Walmart who think the same way this female does. Because most of the chicks on Instagram either don't work at all or work a regular job. So all of them are regular. Even she's regular. In her bio on Instagram, she says that she is the owner of a Donna Lifestyle. She's a comedian and business owner. And I think that business would have been funded by child support money from Markel. That's why I say Markel dodged one. Okay, you dodged one, bro. But a lot of these chicks are regular. They just have a bigger social media following. So for you regular females who watch my videos, they are no different than you. They are out there trying to chase that bag. That's it. They're posting photos in other people's houses. They're posting photos in hotel rooms. They're posting photos at a store at like um at boutiques or clothing stores in dresses that they don't they didn't even pay for. They're just trying it on. I bet you didn't know that. <laughs> Most of you chicks ain't got no money, man. I don't care what business they run. Anybody can run a business. Anybody can get online and say they run a business. Just because you have anybody can sit up here and claim that they are the business owner of this and business owner of that. You know, um, the Sean McCoy's ex-girlfriend um, that refused to leave his house. She owns a business, but the chick is too broke to get her own house. Because she can't afford that type of lifestyle. So, with this female trying to expose not only Markel but her sister slash best friend for sleeping with him, you expose yourself. Look at your Instagram. When you're supposedly pregnant, you're taking photos on Instagram. There's no pictures really showing you being pregnant. So what really happened to that child? You know, because not stress does affect pregnancies, but drinking does as well. Drinking does, drugs does, uh, you know, a lot too much activity, not getting enough sleep. When you're not taking care of yourself, you put your, you know, unborn child at risk. And the fact that she put she was a comedian is comical. <laughs> I'm telling you females, man, if a dude ain't claiming you publicly, there's gonna there's not gonna be no relationship. I've done videos on females exposing their ex-boyfriends. It's very rare that the dude hid that relationship. Some most of those relationships were public. They're photographed together. There's no photograph of her and dude together. I look, there is none. Just like in a previous video I did about um, Gilbert Arenas Y'all go check that out His ex-girlfriend made false allegations on him And he's suing her Couldn't find no pictures of her None Even though they said she's an IG model Unless she changed her name I can't find her And that tells you the dynamic of that relationship She was a secret and she was upset about that Because once that relationship was over She realized that she was in a secret relationship And that didn't, that didn't sit well with her Because she didn't she didn't gain anything Once that relationship was over Markel You you went simp And you you know you, you Basically impregnated this female Who you should have never in your life Tried to impregnate But again you're 20 years old and you don't have a father figure there, from my understanding. It's just you, it's, from my understanding, I think you grew up with your mother. And you are a young millionaire. Number one pick in the 2017 NBA draft. I'm pretty sure the moment that you were drafted, chicks was hitting your DMs. It happens. Whenever you gain a little bit amount of fame, chicks are going to hit you up. I got... 
females, I've done videos on family uh, family members hit me up. And I'm just a small YouTuber, you know. I don't have a big social media presence, but my words hit a chord. I mean, it, it strike a nerve because they know I'm telling the truth. In this situation, Markel, hopefully you learn from this. You're 20 years old. You're nine years younger than me, son. <laughs> okay, young enough to be my younger brother. So hopefully you learn from this, bro. Hopefully you move on. Hopefully you have a successful season. And you put this behind you because you really dodged one in this situation. So y'all let me know in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts.